but not wanting the FEMA money to actually go to the local municipalities uh, to dole out the money because they're believing that the money's not going to be doled out appropriately that because of the corruption. So there's that they're dealing with there in Puerto Rico as well, unfortunately, and it's been years and years of that. And anybody uh, worth their salt that has a brain that lives in Puerto Rico, like this one politician, he's not a politician, he's a, a business owner. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. But Budweiser needs your help in the wake of the increased national anthem protest by these NFL players. Anheuser-Busch is reconsidering its NFL sponsorship, likely because the protests are very unpopular among everyday Americans. Bud Light currently serves as the official beer, if you didn't know of the NFL and you go to their website and you can say, ask you, you know, well, they're going to ask you if it bothers you that people are fist bumping or kneeling during the national anthem. They're, they're considering entering, ending their sponsorship. They want to hear from you. And, and that's you, the consumer to weigh in, go to their Budweiser, Anheuser, Bush uh, website. Uh, and man, they, they spent a lot of money, folks. There's a partnership up to 20, into 2022 uh, that weighs in $15 billion of, of how much they would be spending up until 2022 with their contract. That's a lot of money, folks. And they're considering it, ending it because of what's happening there. They don't even want to be affiliated with it because it's anti-American. That's how, uh, folks, I think something positive is going to happen with all this stuff. This uh, NFL week four, dozens of players kneel, sit, raise fists during the national anthem. The 49ers added uh, in a statement for more than a year, members of our team have protested the opposition and social injustice is still present in our society. They're giving reason that desecrating the flag or calling Trump as a bum in chief because he said those SOBs should be fired. I side with Donald Trump on this one. And Anheuser-Busch, how patriotic of them to say we're going to really consider. And believe me, there's going to be millions and millions of Americans that are going to go to their website and uh, either sign or take their uh, – you know, click here if you disagree with that and the little survey that they have on the Anheuser-Busch website. But I'd go there today, look up their website, Anheuser-Busch online. But uh, they're going to pull their sponsorship unless they decide that they're going to, you know, you know, you take sponsorship dollars out of it. You threaten them in the pocketbook. This is salaries. Uh, and, and then imagine the beer company that goes in to try to capture that contract. And I don't think this will be the last of companies that will pull, pull their advertising dollars. I think that's a, that's a huge sponsor. That's a lot of money for the NFL. You start pulling the money off it, they're going to start second uh, saying, you know what, uh, maybe we need to rethink uh, our position now. And to think that the players can't even support breast care, care awareness. They can't have the little pink ribbon. They They can't commemorate uh, police officers or 9-11 during just recent line of the NFL said no, but they uh, tolerate this. There's such a double standard there. But folks, when you hit people in the pocketbook, when you hit them there and you start taking the money away, funny things start happening and you see it right now with Anheuser-Busch. I say, I commend them. I hope this is a trend that continues. Um, you got a letter, and you got to look for this uh, American sniper's wife. Taya Kyle has an official letter to the NFL. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. We're going to read the letter that was written from her hand to the NFL. She starts off just real briefly. You were doing your part to bring people together and heal the world. That's how, how healing works. We heal by loving each other and leading by example, showing people what is possible. When we love each other and just as we are and not only recognize our differences, but celebrate them and look at how we can use them together to make us jointly better than our separate parts. You were doing your part celebrating each other based on skills, talent and joint vision without regard to color and religion. 
She continues on. She is so heartfelt, so well thought out, so purposeful and meaningful. I'm going to read the whole letter tomorrow on For the People with uh, the wife, uh, this, this is sniper, the American sniper's wife. Maybe you've seen the movie there. Uh, Taya Kyle, her letter to the uh, NFL tomorrow, and you want to tune in for it. It is really powerful, and I'm going to read it. Uh, but it's stuff we need to start hearing more often from people that are of influence. And believe me, her husband paid the ultimate sacrifice for a country. Who better to write the NFL for the military? Good stuff, folks. Let's pray for the families that have lost loved ones in Vegas, that are injured in Vegas right now, for those in the islands in Puerto Rico, in Texas right now that are hurting. A lot of hurting people out there, folks, today in a hurting world. We lean on Jesus, that's for sure. We need the good Lord to heal our hearts and heal our country and bring us together. We need that more than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, it's by your support that For the People stays on the air. Uh, pick up our new For the People coffee mug. It's 20 bucks with a little shipping and handling. That'll keep us on the air. We really appreciate that. It's right on our front page. You can buy one today. It's nice. It has our colorful logo on it. ForThePeopleShow.com. I'm Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless.